Hey guys, welcome back to Post Series. Today, I wanna to talk to you about a very common problem that we have when we're keying red and green. Usually, when we're having these two colors, some red over our green screen, we usually have an edge problem when we pull our key. And the problem is usually that, as we can see here, there is a bright green edge. Now, I didn't despill this plate because I want you guys to see the edge because this is a very common problem in compositing and keying when we have red and green. We have trouble with a bright green edge or a bright edge here. So today, let's talk about uh, one technique that you can use to get rid of that edge. So I did my keying setup really quick. Um, I won't go into details because I do have a video that goes into details about using the IBK gizmo. So I just set this up because I wanna show you guys this. If we take a look at, um, right now we're viewing our pre-malt and then if we wanna put this over the background, uh, let's see, we would see, see can we find a darker area? Maybe we want to make our background a little darker so we can see the edge, which we can see here. Uh, maybe I'll just transform this over a little bit. I have this center here. Yeah, now we can see the bright um, green edge over the fireplace. I guess this fireplace should be, Santa should be a little bit smaller. Okay, so we see this here. So now that we have a good idea about this edge that we need to get rid of, let's look at one of the ways that we can get rid of this edge. If you go into your um, IBK gizmo, one thing that you can do is if you start lowering the red weight, let's pay attention to what happens to this edge as we lower the red weight. We can also see that something else is happening to our entire key, but let's keep looking at the red weight. So we see that edge is going away. Now, what's also happening is when we lower the red weight, our um, alpha is now becoming a little bit more transparent. So let's actually take a look at our alpha so that we can see what's happening when we're lowering the red weight. I'll set it back to the default and then we'll start lowering again. So our alpha is becoming a little bit more transparent, but that's fine because all we're worried about are the red areas and the edges of those red areas. Because of course, when we're keying, we are going to pull an edge key and then we're going to pull a core key. So this adjustment to the red weight would be a part of our edge key and it would also be masked out to only the areas where it's necessary. So we would just go ahead and ma create a mask around the areas that we're using this red weight adjustment for to blend our edge better. So let's go back to the default and then we'll go ahead and lower that and we can see what's happening. So we are getting something better already simply by adjusting the red weight inside of the IBK gizmo.